Alright guys, welcome to another time out with me on the channel. My name is Ale Godwin if you meet me for the first time and today we're talking about a brand new camera, a Netflix approved cinema camera that I picked up and I had to choose from a couple of them. I'll tell you my thought process when I was looking for one and why I ended up with this particular one. Ready? Hey, if you're new here, I would appreciate if you subscribe to this channel because here we do music, movies, tech reviews, short films, you know, feature, documentaries, the whole nine, basically all around entertainment. If you've been on this channel, you know that my main camera is the Cisco Pro. That, that camera is not Netflix approved. But I plan on shooting a lot of documentaries, a lot of short films, a lot of feature films. Well, not a lot. The whole idea is to get prepared for my first feature. And um, I just don't want to do something that I will end up getting right but because of the camera choice becomes not accepted um, i know i know a lot of people say oh you can get it on netflix it's not the same returns okay i would rather be refused or rejected than get it right on my end and the only thing holding them back is it wasn't on our approved list. Uh, let, me, let me just tell you a bit of um, how I decided on the camera. I needed the camera to have autofocus. Why? Because um, talking head like this, you may see the picture struggle a little bit. Like when I move backwards, it's going to be out of focus. Um, yes, if I'm sitting down in one spot, I know about right about here, uh, the focus is okay all right but as I begin to review and move around I may get blurred out and back in focus and it's not the best experience for the viewer so I wanted a camera that can do autofocus it's not a big big deal but YouTube is a major part of my well it's pretty much full time the only other thing I do besides YouTube is filmmaking so I uh, probably uh, maybe I'm I don't know what you think am I full-time youtuber now something that will favor me on my youtube channel on the list now when I think about this quality alone I can immediately scrap a couple of them on the list of course price would be one of the deciding factor um, but also autofocus now here are the cameras in my list I'm gonna this the research process I went through. Uh, the first on the list, which is probably the best um, the one fits all kind of camera for me right now, it's the Canon C500 Mark II. That's an ideal camera that's like, you could use it for everything, but it's expensive. The next on the list, there's the Canon C300 Mark II and Mark III. Actually still Netflix approved. The autofocus for um, um, Canon C300 Mark II is good. I mean, it's usable. It's very dependable. Um, but the price for a new one is still expensive for this day. Now, nah. alternatively, it's to get a used one, but you want to do a lot of stuff with this. You don't want something that's beaten up or stuff like that. I just wanted a brand new camera that I can depend on for a while. So that's out of the list. So the next on the list will be the Sony FS9. We all know that's a very good camera, but it's still above my reach for now. And the next on the list was um, the Sony FS6. Ideal, actually that would be the ideal one. No. I just, I just knew it wasn't going to be Sony because, uh, because of compatibility issues. So I'll save you the 
the long story. Um, I decided to go with the Panasonic BGH1. Yes. Now you might say, autofocus? I thought you said, yes. I saw the autofocus. I've seen YouTube re reviews and stuff like that. I think the autofocus is enough for what I need it for. I don't need the autofocus for my movies, my film. I just need it for my talking head like this, like when I'm doing my reviews. I think it can hold up. It is the cheapest Netflix approved camera and it's got 13 stops of dynamic range, blah, blah, blah. You all know all the stories. You must have seen these on reviews um, on YouTube. You must have seen reviews on YouTube, but I thought this was my best bet. Now, do I uh, think this, uh, do I love the this over the Black Magic uh, 6K Pro? No. I love that more, but what to what end? What is it going to benefit me if I keep loving this camera and shooting with it and I'm getting nowhere? So I'm just being smart. So um, that being said, I'm going to say goodbye to the Sony FS5 Mark II because I can't have that autofocus is eh, it's okay. I can depend on it sometimes, you know, but it is not Netflix approved. I can't keep having expensive cameras not netflix approved so that had to go and this is here so ladies and gentlemen let us unbox quickly for today and that's all we are going to do okay what's in the box what's in the box For so long, people have been saying, think outside the box, but it looks like Panasonic wants us back in the box. Jack in the box. Jack in the box. So let's see what's in here. All right, I'm taking it up. We got our manual. Um, I already know it doesn't come with any charger, but I have, um, the power source and I have this thing I don't know what this is I don't know what this is but this is the power cable and the charging the full charger nice which is nice and we got the manual which I will be digging in it's not usual for me to but I will because that's the only way I can maximize my knowledge and of course I'll be sharing my journey with you guys and this is the guy oh my god all right let's see this off this off hmm. not... wow it is tiny but it's got presence <laughs> if we throw this at somebody, it's it's going to make the same impact as a rock. Ow! This is it. Wow. One hand. In the palm of my hand is a cinema camera. I can't believe this. I'm back to micro four thirds again. <laughs> I started with the, my first cinema camera was the Black Magic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K Micro Four Thirds and I was rocking the Mikey lenses until I had to say goodbye but now I'm back but I already sold those so I'm going to figure out well actually I have a lens here I'll, I'll show you the lens that I have in a second and uh, yeah I already bought my batteries I had to order those in as well so yeah this is the one I bought I I need I actually going to get the one the double charger one but I wanted it to arrive today those ones will arrive in a, in about a week from now so I didn't want to wait for that for now I just want to be able to get this and mount this as well so here we go that's our first <laughs> oh my god it's unbelievable now um so with this here 
let's uh, see what what we have let me show you what we have what i decided to go with it is the sigma 16 f 1.4 has been my first lens now i know i can adapt other lenses to this guy uh without saying you know without further ado uh we'll unbox the sigma lens as well and uh, of course paperwork and mm, i thought this lens was huge maybe the micro four thirds version is smaller so that's a good thing not bad not bad at all in fact i'm loving it now i'm hoping the autofocus will be on point for me i'm hoping that the autofocus will be spot on let me see the thread is 67 millimeters and uh yeah let's just get uh first look uh, how it looks before we call it a day um, other things are gonna be coming in the, the rig the cage and uh, wow you know the size and the price actually this this camera is not cheap if you don't know know now it is not cheap basically about two thousand um, dollars for the camera you will need an, um, a monitor between 300 to five, 600, which you should be spending on the Atomos uh, Ninja. I mean, you should be wise to spend, um, to get the Ninja 5. That's the best pair uh, if you want to record externally. Otherwise, you might want to go with um, Paul Keys because they got control over this camera from their screen screen control you have the option there but you could control with the with your phone and um the monitor so we are going to set all that up later on coming up coming soon and uh, this is it mm -hmm. yep uh, i'll you know cover it up and make you wonder for it about what camera it beat you know uh, yeah, that will be all for right now. Guys, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget we have giveaways for three people. 3,000, three, 4,000, four, up to 10,000. So stick around. You don't win now, you always win later. If you're involved in the channel, you will get, you know, a giveaway at some point in time. So uh, just like, subscribe, comment below. What's your thoughts? Who's rocking this? Let me know. Let's start to connect. If you did that, I guess I'll see you in the next video. Peace.